it's me, Clem, and I'm possibly the most ugliest and weirdest person in the world. But today, I'm going to show you something that's even more weird and ugly than I am. As you can probably see here, I have my computer running. And down here, you can see it with the cover taken off. I have to take the cover off so it doesn't overheat. But that's not the point I'm trying to make here. The point I'm trying to make is how stupid some stuff on Windows is. Now, I have this nice webcam here, and it's refusing to work. Or it's probably Windows going, no, I don't want to work, I don't want to work today. I've put it on the floor here, so I can show you that it is connected to the computer. So we follow the wire. You can see that it is connected straight to the USB at the back of the computer. So, we'll just put this camera somewhere for now. Excuse my terrible camera work. And go over to the computer. Now, the program to use this camera is in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. So let's load that program right now. And look at this. I don't want to see a graph, I want to see the picture that the camera's seeing. Stupid computer. So, let's try it on something else. Let's see if we can get it up on ULEAD Video Studio. We'll go to Video Studio Editor. Capture. And look, absolutely nothing there. If we go to capture to start capturing the video, what do you know is giving me this crap about a graph again? And before you ask, yes, the software and the drivers are installed. Maybe it's not working because I've forgotten to do something which it hasn't told me about. So let's just get rid of that. Maybe I need to do this. I'll just give it a file name. Work, you bitch. And now I need to do this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So let's just do this anyway and see what happens. And it's not doing anything at all. I think it stopped responding for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So we'd better get out of this program before something else happens. I'll just press those three famous buttons. It's difficult to do this and hold the camera at the same time. Control Alt Delete to bring up the useless Windows Task Manager. And look, I was right. It has stopped responding. So, we better end it. As you can see, the thing appears. So, end now. And look. It's still running. What's up with that? Why won't you end? Looking at this, you can tell it's not doing anything. It looks like we need to reboot the computer. Get out of night shot here. So while that's booting up, we'll pause it. Almost there now. This is actually Windows XP. It just looks different. I don't know if you saw that there. Now, 
I've got some music I want to put on my computer. This is from a disc I burnt some time ago. And I've decided I want some of these files back on my hard drive. So, let's try to copy one. We'll put it right there. As you can see, it's copying it now. Seems to be on 25 seconds for about 5 minutes now. This is the longest 25 seconds I've ever experienced in my whole life. Well, it's about 10 minutes later. Still says 25 seconds. And for some reason, my thing at the top has disappeared. So do you know what I think's happened? I think it stopped responding again. Let's just take a look. Watch those three famous buttons. And what do you know? It's not responding. So, I'm trying to close this now. Stop bugging me with that. End task. End now. Don't send. And it's still there. It's useless, isn't it? I've been trying to end this for about five minutes now and it just doesn't want to do it. Okay, computer is rebooted. And I've put the disc back in, so let's try to do it again. And I promise you, this is the last time you'll see me do this. I'll just go down. Select one. It claims to be there, but it's still copying it. I think my computer hates me. I mean, what the hell does that mean? Say it in English. Well, that concludes my video of how pissed off I am at Windows, so I'm going to go now. By the way, I'm aware of the irony of recording and editing this on Windows in order to decry this, so don't bother pointing that out.